Hello, my name is Suzanne Rawlinson and today I'm going to show you how to make a really lovely mobile phone case or glasses case from an old tie. Now ties have got a surprising amount of fabric in them but they can be used to make really nice treasured memories of perhaps a loved one that's passed away or maybe a lovely gift for retirement. First of all, before we start the project, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just how much fabric there is in a tie. Now, ties are often worn for work and then discarded and everybody's got a bag full of ties and doesn't know what on earth to do with them. So basically, if you look inside here and I've already removed the stitching from there, you've got a really nice little piece there that we'll use later. That's the bit that your tie goes inside. And then all that there is, is there's one string that goes all the way up the tie. And that's the only thing that keeps that tie together. And I'll show you just exactly how much fabric there is. And then when that's out of the way, you've got all of this fabric. Now, this inside we use for reinforcing bag handles. So keep that. And then you've got this nice little piece here that's already sewn for your project, but you get all of this fabric and very often, you can pick a tie up in a charity shop for 50 pence and it'll be 100% silk. So it's very worth having a look out for something pretty. This tie is the one that I've chosen um, for my mobile phone case cover. So if you can wrap that around and what you need to do is just check and see how far you need to actually fold that down. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just pop a little pin here so that I can see where the top of that is. Okay, I'll just put a pin in there to hold it in place while I do the next step. And this is where I've cut off the bottom of the, the tie. So I can see that the end of the phone's here and I've chopped this off so that it's going to fold there and then it's also gonna fold there. So that's right up against the bottom of the phone there and then up to this point here. Now, what I need to do is I need to ease that tie open because I want to make sure that that goes all the way to the edge so that we can actually sew down here. So when you've opened that up enough, pop a pin in it. And do the same at the other side because we want these edges all to match. And once that's pinned in place, I can remove the phone and I can sew that on the sewing machine. Pop your needle in at the top, make sure that everything's all lined up. Um, a couple of little stitches backwards and forwards to make sure it's secured properly and then sew all the way around to the edge, keeping close to the edge of the fabric and then secure at the bottom. So that mobile now fits nicely into there and pops over. And what I've done is I've chosen to put a little snap fastener on there to keep that together. This is another little one that I've made um, and it's got like a handbag catch on it. Those would need to be put into place before the sides were sewn down and then they magnetically fasten nicely. This original mobile phone case is um, using, I've put a a little rivet in there, a little eyelet, and used the centre back part of the tie. Just tied a little knot in it, put that through there and that makes a nice catching loop. And this is a part of Nan's old necklace and then that's sewn on there as well and we have a nice loop there and obviously that adds to the memory of that. And then last but no means least we've got um, a little sewing kit here which is one of the nicest fabrics of the ties um, and although this one did have an ink stain on it. It was one that I decided to use because I just thought that was part of the memory of the life of this tie. Thank you for watching our video, I really hope you enjoyed it and don't forget before you throw away any garments or unwanted fabrics let's think of some creative ways to recycle it.